us to watch news desk on Joy News. Now, Minister designates Kofi Jamesi for the Chieftaincy and Religious Affairs. Cecilia Dapa for Aviation and Boniface Abubakar Sadiq for Zongo and Inner City Development will appear before the Appointment Committee of Parliament to answer questions related to the various areas they have been nominated for. Joseph Opukugaku joins us live from Parliament. Joseph, over to you. Waiting here at um, the appointment committee's uh, meeting room uh, right here in Parliament House. Um, any moment from now, the session is expected to begin. Uh, soon, we're expecting the chairman of the committee, Joe Sewusu, and the other members to take their seat, and then um, the whole vetting session would begin. In fact, the first person who would be appearing before the committee would be uh, Boniface Abubakar Sadiq, who is um, the minister who has been appointed as the minister designate for inner city development and also Zongo development. Um, it's after him that we'll see the rest of the two coming. But what I can tell you right from the veteran uh, you know, committee's room here in parliament is that um, a lot of supporters of um, Boniface Abubakar Sadiq have actually come around here. There are a number of traditional leaders who've come around. There are a number of um, other people, particularly from the Zongo community and other areas who've come around. You would know that uh, Boniface Sadiq is someone who's been former minister for works and housing and um, he's someone who has really been in a lot of the Zongo areas and done some activities there. So he's quite popular there and a lot of them have come around to support him. One of the many dignitaries here is um, Alhaji um, MND Jawula, the Lepora. Uh, he's joining us here for a brief conversation. Uh, what brings you here this morning, Alhaji? Well, I've come to see what's happening about the betting, about, uh, first of all, my nephew, uh, my Honorable uh, Boniface uh, Sadiq, and uh, just to find out what he has to tell the world and to ensure that uh, we give him all the support that he needs. Okay. And so for you, uh, what does it mean for you to have him appointed as um, a minister once more? You know, he's been a previous minister in the Kufo regime, and we you know he'll be serving in a very interesting position as the man in charge of Zongo development and also inner city development. What does that mean for you and your people? Yeah, it's the interesting, that's the interesting part, that, that for the first time uh, we're having a minister for Zongo and inner cities. It's good for us because uh, over the years, uh, Zongo issues have been neglected, as it were. And uh, we've always been the backbone of this country. We've given every support right from the beginning when the military and the police were formed in this country. They used Zongo people. They, they brought a, a group of houses from northern Nigeria to come and start a police force. They used Zongo people. And whenever there's something of activity, the Zongo people are there right at the center of it. And by some luck, or by, or by, or by some chance, we have been crowded wherever we have, we have stayed. And no efforts have been made uh, to, set, to set us right, to give us fair accommodation, give us all the facilities that we need, good water and other things. No efforts have been made to give us the, the, the right of education. And when things go wrong, they blame us as Zongo people. So well, if we have a minister who is going to, to be focused on everything, from education to, to health, to water, to housing, then this is, this is a very great chance. And, and I think we also have to show appreciation to the president uh, for, for thinking about us and for giving us this chance. It's a chance that we, we hope to cherish. It's a chance that we shall use to the best of advantage of Ghana. And so as he appears before the appointments committee today, um, what are expectations of him? There are people who've come around, they've uh, had one or two arguments with the committee. Eventually, the minority side have objected to their approvals and all of that. When it comes to um, Alhaji Boniface Sadiq, what do you hope to see as he appears before the committee? Well, Boniface is an experienced person. Uh, he's been in parliament, in and out of parliament before. Uh, he's solid. I worked with him at the Minister of Finance several years ago. He's well educated, so many degrees, too many to count. Uh, 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 he uh, he has what it takes to to handle human beings, uh, and 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 therefore you can see that that in this room in which we are is breaking at at at, at, at uh, it seems everybody wants to come in to, to see what's happening, and those outside are more than those within, you know. So it's a signal that this choice is good, it's acceptable, and I know he's going to perform. And added to that, you know, he's an ocean of Tamale Secondary School, and we're very proud of our products. And, and, and I'm sure he's, I'm sure he's going to make us very proud. 
Many thanks for speaking to us there. That's um, Ahaji um, MND Jaula, who is the um, Lepora. Well, let's get some additional reactions from some of um, the other traditional leaders uh, who've gathered here uh, to, to, to support. Yes, uh, go, go ahead and introduce yourself to us. What brings you here? I'm a sure of money, I'm a sure of money. And eventually, when if he's happy to be my MP, that's why I have to be in my regalia and come and at least support him. That's what I mean. So, what are your expectations of him as he appears before the vetting committee? Well, we are very, very blessed in experience, very, very learned, and very, very successful. So, there's no, I, don't, I, don't, I don't have any doubt about him. Wherever Bonnevers goes, I know he can do it, he can perform well. He will be the minister in charge of Zongo and inner city development. You know, Medina, where you achieve. There are some zongos there. Uh, what do you hope that he, he, he will do? He, he, yeah, what do you hope that he will do once he takes over as minister and uh, his nomination is approved by parliament? Yeah, that's why that, that the body for is somebody. He was once a regional minister of the Northern Region, Tamale. You know, he was MP in Salaga. So he's acquainted uh, with all the Muslim community. So he has no problem, much problem with that. So. Very soon, the moment you start hopefully, you will see that there's some differences in all the zongos. The schools, the hospitals, everything will all start springing up. Education is first, priority from benefits. So we have no problem much. Many thanks for speaking to us. And so, um, any moment from now, we're expecting Ohaji Boniface Sadiq to walk in and for other members of the appointment committee to come around for the vetting session to begin here in Parliament. Back to you, Beatrice. Thank you very much. Thank you very much, Joseph Opokugaku, reporting live from the floor of Parliament.